Hey guys, it's Wolf of Valhalla Gaming, and we're back in Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown. So let's go ahead and start our campaign playthrough. I hate when games don't work right. Save my game. As far as the chaos we find ourselves in these days, it's difficult to say which side pulled the trigger first. Exposition! Arugia deployed an automatic intercept system with drones. Osea implemented long-range attacks to bypass them. So Arugia decided to sabotage Osea's communications and navigation technology. Arugia couldn't launch a satellite themselves, but they were still able to hack the software of the Osean transmission and navigation systems. Before Osea even noticed, half of their satellites were hijacked. It sounds like Belkin That's witchcraft to me. Things got ugly. Damn Belkins. In an attempt to knock out each other's capabilities, both forces launched fighters loaded with anti-satellite missiles the same time. That's what the F-15 carries. Only military satellites were targeted. However, their destruction created a debris field in orbit, which wiped out scores of other satellites, both private and government owned. That is an issue what with a debris belt being in orbit. Point, had been free-flowing data and information, but now those were gone. Oh no! All that remained. That's was a lot chaos. of burning satellites. Curious whether that debris belt would eventually just fall back into orbit. And transmissions were cut off. The flow of information had ceased. Forces on both sides of the conflict now found themselves unable to communicate with their superiors. Many of the smaller countries annexed by Arugia and yearning for their independence seized the opportunity and started their own uprisings. Mm. As for why some of Osea's military decided to break off from the main force and continue on their own, I have no idea. So the world's essentially in a some sort of blackout over the chain of command. since we don't have internet now. The continent that had once seen wars that were only fought between Osea and Rugia was now full of numerous conflicts between rival leaders vying for power. Insurgencies were everywhere. I even heard a rumor that a group of Osean convicts had rebelled. Hmm. Wonder who those could be. It never ceased to amaze me. That even at a crazy time like this, something as trivial as a rumor could find its way here. Makes you curious where are Mr. X and the Soul Squadron stationed at? Because we've never hit their airbase. Why would we not just attack the airbase that he was at? It was a wise decision to make our drones autonomous with AI instead of being radio controlled. Wise and forward thinking. You damn Belkin. Even with their GPS offline. They can still use their sensors to navigate as long as they're working properly. I'm sure the drones are still working perfectly, following their mission orders to the letter. I wish I could upload Mihai's new data to them, but without a connection, I can't upload the software to the active drones. The new ones we're making, though, there should still be enough time to upgrade those before they're activated. I'll be taking the data I've acquired away from the front lines now. Oh, and I'll be taking the girls too. I told my assistant Masa it was time to get Mihai's granddaughters ready to leave here. She's not much older than the girls, but she has a way about her, and I'm sure she won't have any trouble with them. It's interesting. Why would you take them with you and not leave them with their... I daughter? saw a plane flying off yeah, in the distance. It is what it is. I imagine it was looking for a safer place. The plane had a rose emblem on it. Is it the princess? Mission 16, last hope. Oh boy. What do we got? Rusia's communication networks have been down since their satellites were destroyed. Unfortunately, we are experiencing trouble too. Hmm. All of Yuzia has been affected, and we don't know when things will be back up and running. We're not even sure if this is Arugia's doing. Still, we will follow the strategy that was originally planned, and move on to the next operation after liberating Farbanti. Let's get to it. Since the war began, we've been receiving communications in secret from an officer in the Arugian army. With the capital under our control, Arugia's radical element is losing support quickly, affecting the balance of power. Interesting. So we've essentially started a civil war. Military officer as a way to gain leverage to settle peace negotiations. That's one way to do it. The officer is currently hiding in the outskirts of Anchorhead Bay, 
having joined up with support dispatch from the OC not Anchorhead Bay, not again. The plan is that they'll take I feel like I always end up in Anchorhead Bay. It's like the, the second or third time you go here. Where a helicopter will be waiting. I would like the new Strider Squadron to provide escort for the officer. What do you mean new Strider Cyclops Squadron? Will remain at the base on standby to serve as defense. With the communication network currently down in the capital, I very much doubt Arusia will be able to mount a regimented counterattack. Hmm. However, it is likely that Arusia's intelligence department and the remaining forces who are aware of the officer's movements will interfere. Keep a close eye on the officer and make sure he stays safe. Our victory in Farbanti has given us a golden opportunity to finally end this war. Be safe out there. Okay. Take Should note be interesting. That our satellite based IFF has become unreliable following oh no. a recent communications failure. That's not kosher. As such, target ID will be done by processing the images from the infrared cameras on your aircraft. No. Objects will initially appear as unknown on your HUDs, but will be ID'd once you close in on them for a set period of time. That is asinine. Can I just treat everything as a hostile? Okay. Go ahead and start the mission. We've got our briefing. We're going to be escorting. I will not be using you. Uh, I could use you. Do I have uh, anti... I do have ground weapons here, but... Mm. Nah. Unfor SU-37 Terminator. It is quite a pretty aircraft. Does it have any anti-ground? High power air missiles, SU-34. Mm, I think I'm going to go back to my tried and true F-15. Strider Squadron, you're cleared to taxi. I wonder who Trigger's weapons officer is. He's the pilot, but who is the weapons officer? Mission 16, Last Hope, Operation Gorgon. Great, we're turning everything to stone. If you know what the Gorgons are. Medusa. Those are Gorgons, right? Yeah, I forget my Greek mythology. To the unidentified Ocean craft, this is Captain Carl of the Ocean Army. Are you here for the escort? You're not the squadron I was expecting. All right. Are you really friendly? So Let's get this Mr. done. Longcaster, airborne warning and control system for the Ocean Long Range Strategic Strike Group. Captain Carl, they're on our side. And those two pilots we've heard about must be here too. Yes, we okay. are. I hope you're right. I liked watching the uh, Are all of these really unknowns? The afterburner kickoff right there. The Looked really nice. There's no guarantee the Oceans won't shoot us in this confusion. I'd like it if they wouldn't. Let's process the unknowns caught in your cams to identify friend or foe. Oop. Process will be faster if you get a close up well centered image. Meanwhile, we just run if they shoot us, right? Affirmative. Always Come here, Mr. Rocket Truck. Good. Trying to identify all these targets is awful while I'm trying to fly. <laughs> oh god. Yay, we have allies. Let's just go ahead and drop a nice cluster right here. We got... Who are you? F-18? Friendly F-18, Jay! I love friendlies. <laughs> it means I don't get shot at as much. Hostiles, not as much. These guys can all just... Ugh! Not Anchorhead Bay again. Yep. We've identified everything in this area. Oh. Those are all friendly. It's a Rusian. It's a Rusian. General, if they're conservatives, they'll listen to us. The negotiations were a success, Longcaster. They've opened up a path for us. More the merrier. This place is really pretty at night. It's a shame to have to turn it into a war zone. I'm trying to re remember. Okay, so this is the bay that we attacked. This is. Okay, I know where I'm at now. 
know exactly where we're at area. now. We're heading along Highway 208 under the bridge. We're taking the coastal highway at the next ramp. All right. It's interesting seeing these maps and uh different lights. How they did different lighting. Friendlies, friendly. I'm a friendly. Stop it. Nope, not friendly to you though. Oop. Could you not shoot at me, please? You're friendly. So don't shoot at me, please. Calm down. You, on the other hand, probably are not friendly. Yep. Saw that one coming. SU-34, and you're a bad guy. There we go. Pink, pink. Oh, SU-34. Heavily armored, huh? F-18. F-18, what are you two? Signs of the clean warfare at the beginning of this war are now gone. Yep, there's no such thing as a clean warfare. Or a clean war, I should say, not clean Target warfare. I don't think there's gonna be a uh, vehicle blocking the road anymore. This game is so pretty. This game is just so pretty. Damage, but still flight capable, huh? There's some enemies coming up behind us. Yep. Gaining on us. I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. I'm going to help. Our route, but the enemy's still on us. Yeah, let's just drop a cluster bomb. Vehicle eliminated. There we go. That was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This mission different, but it's fun. Lots of friendly fire going on by accident over there. Kind of shitty they couldn't have just taken a boat and met a helicopter even further out. Um, probably not best to have started a war with a bigger, more resourceful enemy. But, since you did that, and you've lost the war, the just go ahead and surrender. It's actually a pretty calm mission, in retrospect of the few, like, intense moments of trying to protect a Labarth. It's quite fun to play. And he's just on the bridge over here. Does that mean they're going to... Yep, they're, they have helicopters now. Good. So far we've only run into friendly helicopters, so... Should be interesting. Whoop. Yeah, this is the area where, uh... Okay. This map seems so much smaller whenever you do it on uh, this mission versus Anchorhead Raid, where you're just trying to blow everything up. We're heading towards Garunder Park. Rendezvous point is a helipad on this man-made island. We'll ditch the car and take the helicopter from there. Time to start identifying targets again. Maybe. Maybe. Is there anything? Am I that much of a legend in this game? Oh, 
I know, I dropped I dropped the bombs before I even knew if that was a good guy or a bad guy. Okay, so these are definitely baddies. So let's just circle back and do a nice bombing run. Oh. Yeah, you don't say. These guys are dicks. Are these friendlies? Are these friendlies? Are you a friendly? Are you a friendly? Are you a friendly? Oh, not friendly. Are you friendly? No. Are you friendly? Yes. You're definitely not friendly. Let's see what's over here. Friendly, not friendly. Oops. Not in trouble anymore. Okay. I wonder if it's randomized what allies you get on each mission. That'd be an interesting concept. That way you can't game the game and know just who's a friendly and who's a bad guy before you even play it. Woo. No, none for you. You have no factions ahead of you. Alright, let's try and identify all this stuff. Really interesting how they're just trying to cast the news, I guess. It's Who are you? Definitely a bad person. The Erosian government has defined these groups, along with those trying to independently make peace with Osea as rebels. We're coming up on a tunnel. We'll need to split up until we reach the exit. Mm, now nah, you're good. There's more to Belkin technology than just you. I have heard designations for one was an astonishing. I shot before I knew if he was good or not, but. Yeah. That was an ace, too. His name was Huxman or something. Oh, you can see that it's a drone. That's a drone F-18. It's got the red, the red, uh, it's got the red lights coming out of its cockpit. Are these friendlies bad? Are you friendlies? Okay, everybody there's a friendly. I agree. Let's say hi. Oh god. I definitely dropped bombs on my own guys right there. Ugh. That's a good guy. Good. We're gonna get some more allies, maybe? Oop, SU-35. That's a drone SU-35, too. I didn't know they had drone SU-35s. What? Reload, reload. There we go. Are these baddies good guys? Those are all good. What about over here? Bad guys. Just level them all. Oh, 
Oh, there's the gunboats. Try and get rid of them if they're bad. If there's one bad, there's two bads. That's just how it goes. Oh, you left. How'd they make it to the chopper? They made it! Yay, we did it. We've done it. Another Chinook. That ended so well last time. So well. Okay, let's go. We're getting out of here. I've had just about enough of this place. I've just about enough of you. Understood. Good luck. Yes, Captain Carl, good luck. Ugh, my flying is getting worse every time. Where are these aircraft coming from? This plane is carrying civilians. We have escort fighters, but we do not intend to engage in combat. Please stand down. Those are drones. They have the lights. Those are drones. You have drone escorts. Oh, that's, um... That's the doctor and the granddaughters. So I can shoot them down, right? He started this entire war. I should just shoot him down. We've checked footage. It does seem to be a transport with escorts. I repeat, this craft is carrying civilians. We are not here to fight. Tell me what's happening. I'm sure I don't need to remind you, but did not attack the civilian liaison. I'm not attacking. Just kind of getting in formation, because I like seeing how their plane looks. Is that a, uh... That's not a C-5. It's definitely not a C-17. That's a, uh... I can't think of it. It's a European aircraft. Damn it. Who shot at us? Unknowns. They could be, or they could be dickheads, shooting at non-combatants. Oh, good thing I fired those two missiles. Yeah, well, I'm gonna shoot him down anyway. F-23s are... Some bolt. They, they have a lot of armor. Why am I the only one killing the bandits is the better question. I love how you've just become like the Grim Reaper among the enemy. Nope, where's a SU-23? There you are. SU 33, not 23. Is well there one more? Where's he at? There he is. And he's got two F 18s chasing him. And an F 15 now. You're in for a bad time. Oh, stalled. I do that way too much when I'm trying to turn with these guys. And now all that's left. But I'm not safe. What? the hell? You gotta be kidding me. Liaison escort is a radar lock. They're targeting you guys. What the hell? We were just helping them. Erosion aircraft. This is AWAX Longcaster. Do not engage the liaison. Break off now. Don't shoot at me. I will kill all of you. So that means I can shoot them down. Good. Where's the other F-18?
All right. Hey, it's not our fault they won't listen to reason. Why build something like that? Whoever did is the king of all dumbasses. Oh, great. Count just called him a dumbass on open comms. That's great. great timing. Son of a bitch. I agree. God, I hate these drones. I hate these drones. That one should be a good hit. How are these drones dodging missiles better than... Whatever. We're gonna try and get these drones down, I guess. How many do we have to shoot down? Like five? I think I got one of them. Oh, fired before it was too ready. Before it was ready. Well, that was nice. There's another three, four drones. Something like that. Stop shooting missiles at me. How's was there five? I've been counting. Enemy has nothing. Stop it. Stop shooting at me. What is he talking about? The drones? Are the drones after the data? That'd be an interesting... I hate these drones. They dodge missiles like nobody's business. And the missile tracking in this game is just awful anyway. Point proven, right there. Missile, all it had to do was go left. Strider 1, that's what I like to see. Another story to tell my boy. Beautiful. Understood. Another battle over Anchor Head Bay. Nice. The General's helicopter is flying safely outside Anchorhead Bay. All aircraft, RTB, mission complete. Beautiful. It was definitely not good for him, though. It's actually some pretty awful flying, so I have to apologize for that. General, the Ocean aircraft is here to pick us up. The approaching Ocean aircraft. Losing his army? Elaborate. They stole our sealed orders. It should be a piece of cake. What? Just happened. There are three scratches. What does that mean? So the God damn it, the general we just escorted got shot down. Alright, skip this. Let's see what happened. Oh, that's so sad. All that work to get the general out of Anchorhead Bay and he got shot down by an F sixteen. That's not good. Oh god. That was different. In order to respond to the attack on the base, Cyclops has scrambled after being on standby. Oh. We'll head up too once our planes are ready. Oh, and Labarth is dead. Lovely. What did you say? Apparently he was shot down by another Ocean aircraft after he left the area of operations. I mean I know it was chaos, but still. Yeah. At any rate. The sealed order operation has come to a close. We have no idea about a plan for going forward. All we can do for now is watch our own backs. What's up with the commander? Hmm. He's staying in his room. He's still alive, since we can hear him crying. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. As always... Oh, we got a rank S. As always, thank y'all for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Bye.